How cool would it be to be a super spy? You travel the world, you beat the bad guy, you save the planet, and you still have time to get back for cocktails before the bomb goes off. All in a day's work. But you're gonna need a very specific set of skills. You're gonna need cunning, you're gonna need intuition, you're gonna to need to always be one step ahead of the bad guys, and you're gonna to need to be able to lie through your teeth under interrogation. Reckon you can do that? I think you might be the guy. I mean, yeah. Just once in a while, this could actually save your life, because it could contain the secret code word that you need to get the safety. Now, do you have the slightest clue what that word is? No, of course you don't, because you couldn't possibly know that. If you were to take a wild guess, what would it be? Phoenix. Phoenix, that's a good choice. Are you going to Moscow in Russia, or are you going to Berlin in Germany? Berlin. Berlin. Cobra or Seabird? Seabird. You've got the bad guys, they're in the car behind you. And you're thinking, right, I've come to a junction. I either turn left and I go to the north car parks, or I go right and I go to the south car parks. In a split second decision, you think left or right. You look up and you see a sign above you. And on that sign, it either says north 84 or south 1. North 84. And I think you'll find that's two out of two. Can we see that? I know what. We'll go either to the zoo or we'll meet at the park, right? Zoo or park? Park. Park. Is he George or is he Craig? Oh, George. Seven out of seven, I think you'll find. Get away by car. Yeah. But of course, you're not the safety yet. The only way for you to get away safely is if you could finish your training and somehow intuit your secret code word, which incidentally happens to be mine. So now you finish your training. If you can figure out what that is, then um, good luck in your mission. I could just look at it. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. I did not see that. <laughs> well, as you've probably just seen from the demo, I've just watched the counterintelligence by Steve Wood, and I was all I could give him was a, a swear word as a reaction. It's top notch. Um, he's just gone from loss from words, and he's just elevated it further, and it's brilliant. I really hate him. So I've just seen Counterintelligence by Steve Wood. I have to say it's absolutely fantastic. It's incredibly engaging. Um, you're, you're involved, uh, you become a spy, and you have to make decisions, 50-50 decisions, that he predicts every single time. The prediction's out in the open before you say your answer, so it's seemingly impossible. I highly recommend it. It's very, very clever, and congratulations, Steve. It's really great. So I've just seen Steve perform counterintelligence and I was completely blown away. He's been teasing it to me for at least a year now and I can say it's well worth the wait. Every reveal, solid, bang on, and, and the kicker ending, it, I love him and I hate him. It just completely fried me. It's amazing. See Steve Woods perform his latest release, counterintelligence. It's a fantastic effect, very uh, quick, very punchy. A lot of reveals happen in such a short space of time and uh, couldn't recommend hard enough. You need to purchase it now. Counterintelligence is easy to perform. If you really were a spy, you'd have to have cunning, intuition, the ability to stay one step ahead of the bad guys every time, and lie through your teeth under interrogation. Counterintelligence. Do you have the skill set? <laughs>